Hey everyone, Mike here from ArnoldTutoring.com, and we have a good quadratic functions question. So let's read it, do a little bit of a review with quadratics, and then show how easy this is to solve. Uh, determine the equation of a quadratic function that has x-intercept 3 and passes through the point 1, negative 2. Okay, so a couple things. So x-intercept is important. We're given what that x-intercept is, which is 3, and then the point that it comes through, and then we know it's a quadratic. So first, let's review. Um, we're supposed to give the equation for this quadratic. So let's think about what might be the best form to leave that equation in, because there's a couple forms we can have for quadratic. So as a review, we can have sort of standard form, and that's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, and that just basically shows that it's a quadratic because the highest exponent is 2. But this isn't really the greatest um, form generally for finding things about the quadratic or what it might look like. Uh, the other two forms that we're going to look at are easier for that. Uh, the second would be factored form. So that we can say y equals a into x minus h, I'll say, times x minus k. And this is good because h and k must be x-intercepts, or zeros. So this is really helpful. It's fully factored. And the reason that is, is we think about what x-intercepts are. They're the x value when the y is 0. So the x value when the y is 0. So that means we can just make this y value here 0. And if x is h, that would make this bracket 0. If x is k, that would make that bracket 0. So that's, that's how you get what your x-intercepts are. The third and final form that is pretty common for quadratics is vertex form. Because we know that the zeros or the x-intercepts are really important about quadratics, but also the vertex, so the top of the parabola or the bottom of the parabola. This is generally found in the form y equals a into x minus, I'll say, h squared plus k. So this is when uh, our vertex is the point h, k. Okay, so depending on what we're dealing with or what we've been given in this word problem, we want to use a different type of form. The fact that we've been given the x-intercept, and there's only one x-intercept in this case, uh, that means I think we should use, it's kind of a combination between factored and vertex form, but basically we're going to be using the factored form because we know we can tell what the x-intercept is from that form. So I'm going to erase this and we'll, we'll check out how to, how to use this factored form. Okay, so here's our factored form, and we know that h and k are the x-intercepts. So usually there's two, or quite often I should say, there's two x-intercepts for a quadratic. There can be two, there can be one, or there can be zero. In this question, we're only told there's one. There's one x-intercept, and it's at three. So in order for that to happen, that means the vertex must also be there. So let's take a look at what we know. So we still don't know this constant a in front, but we do know there must be an x minus three, because three would make that bracket zero. Uh, and then we can say, well, basically, the, there's no other x-intercept, so the other one is x minus 3 as well. So we could rewrite this as y equals a into x minus 3 squared. Right, so this is also sort of vertex form. So not only are the, is the x-intercept at 3, but the vertex is also at 3, 0. Okay, so then we can easily see that all we have to, f we want y and x in our final equation. So we just have to find out what this a value is. That's where we use our other point. We've got an x-coordinate of 1, a y-coordinate of negative 2. Let's sub those in. So instead of y equals, I'm going to say negative 2 equals a, which we still don't know. x is 1 minus 3 squared. And the reason we can sub this point in here is because that's really what a quadratic function is saying. right? It's saying y follows this pattern with x. So we can always plug in an x value, plug in a y value, and set those patterns equal to each other. Now we can easily solve for a. Negative 2 equals a. 1 minus 3 is negative 2 squared. So negative 2 equals a. Negative 2 squared is 4. Divide by 4 on both sides. So a equals negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 over 2. 
So my final equation for the quadratic in factored form is y equals, instead of a, it's negative 1 half x minus 3 squared. Couple things to remember. When we're dealing with x-intercepts, we generally want to focus on the factored form of the quadratic, and that's because you can easily put that x value in for x, uh, and that will create a y value of 0, which is the definition of an x-intercept. Uh, then we always use the other point that's given to us in the question, sub that in for x and y, and find that constant a in front. Hopefully you found this helpful. You can always send us some more questions at info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks very much.